Okay, um, back in our composition book today, and we're going to uh, start a new unit today, as a matter of fact. And uh, we're uh, starting, um, we're going to work on some addition and subtraction. And basically, you're primarily going to be working on addition and subtraction word problems, but we're going to put, put add and add and subtract. And we're going to be working, we're going to put this first one in on page 20. We'll check. Can't read my own writing. No, not there yet. I think it's page 26 there. Yeah, on page 26. And uh, we're going to put one of those tabs, uh, little tab things in there. It has a little bit of information on there for us. Remember when we're gluing stuff, do not over glue. This only takes a little bit, especially if you're using liquid glue. It doesn't take that much. If you cover the whole back in it, we're wasting glue and we're um, going to have problems because it's going to mess up the opposite page we're working on or it could stick our pages together. Okay, uh, another thing I'm going to do, since I got a tab sticking out, I'm going to take some tape. A little bit of tape and kind of laminate that tab. We're going to be working our books a lot and we want to kind of protect it to where we don't have all the issues. Put tape right there and wrap it back over there. Uh, we'll talk about this a little bit. So uh, it says computations right there and the two computations we're going to be working with on this unit are addition and subtraction. Um, and we're going to build on our place values, uh, the properties of operation, the relationship between addition and subtraction, too. And here, uh, this is kind of close to, uh, uh, it has another little um, tree diagram there. I guess that's what they call that tree diagram. And so we're going to be working, uh, when we're adding and subtracting, we're going to be working up to, the, the, up to 1,000, the value of 1,000. So but most of our numbers are going to be, uh, the number right before 1,000 is 999. So most of the numbers we're going to be dealing with are uh, three-digit numbers in the hundreds place. And it, we're going to be using different um, uh, different models to model the way we do addition and stuff. So you have a lot of different a lot of different ways. And this is all called algebraic reasoning. So uh, let's go ahead and turn the page. Okay, adjust the slip a little bit. Okay, and you have this other little handout here. And uh, this handout has the teak that we're going to be starting off working on and some vocabulary. Matter of fact, we probably need to mark page 27 as vocabulary because that's primarily what's on this is vocabulary. Remember, we're going to use a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. And close it up so it don't dry up on me. And I'm going to place this right on my page right here. Let's go back and mark this as vocabulary, page 27. Add and I'm going to spell track, T R A C T, vocab, V O C A B, because, uh, and that's on page 27. And uh, that's important to us because we'll see words uh, that maybe we don't recognize. And if it's dealing with addition and subtraction, uh, we'll be able to look back and uh, look back on uh, that page on page 27 and help us understand it. And we get to page 27 real quick by turning that tab. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, vocabulary a little bit. Well, we'll talk about the TEAK 3.4a, and it's solve the fluency one and two step problems using addition and subtraction within a thousand, using strategy based on place value, properties of operation, and the relationship between addition and subtraction. And we have all of our vocabulary words. I'm not going to read all those to you, but you do need to become familiar with them. Uh, first of all, we'll have, a, we'll have an assessment over these words, uh, uh, just sort of like we did on the last unit. I'll give you a definition, and you need to come up with the, the uh, correct uh, the word that the definition is talking about. And uh, then we'll go ahead down here in the bottom. I'll put these little kind of these sort of like anchor charts. And uh, this is for addition sentence. It talks about the different parts of an addition problem. And the answer to addition problem is sum. And then we got the parts of a subtraction problem. 
and there's a specific order in subtraction. We always have to start with a, we always start with a bigger number, uh, at least when they're in third grade. And uh, when we get the answer to subtraction problem, that's a difference. That's a difference. So uh, those are the important terms that we're going to be uh, working with in addition, subtraction.